During this semester here at Beeson Divinity School, we've been studying the great book of Ephesians, one of the great documents of the New Testament that focuses on the church in many different images. The church is the body of Christ. The church is the bride of Christ. But there's another great image, a metaphor for the church in Ephesians. The church is the building of God, a holy temple brought together out of many diverse parts into an organic unity, a whole for the sake of the gospel. Well, that's the way we like to think about Beeson Divinity School itself. Uh, we're a community of faith and learning that represents many different denominations. This was a part of the founding vision of Beeson Divinity School, that we would be a school that was interested in the whole world, global in our outreach, that we would be a school also that was focused on the gospel itself, evangelical, that's the meaning of that word, the evangel, the gospel, the good news. But that we would also be a school that was interdenominational, that represented something of the breadth and the width and the diversity that is there in the body of Christ. You know, I, I like to think of this as a preview of what heaven will be like. In the book of Revelation, we read about that great throng gathered around the throne of God. They're coming from every language group, every people group, every nation, every clan, every tribe on the face of the earth, singing together the same glorious hymn of praise to the Lamb who sits on the throne. Well, we're privileged to listen in to that hymn, that anthem here in this world. That's what worship is about. And that's what we've been doing all this semester as we focus on this great text of the book of Ephesians. And I pray that this will be a deepening blessing in your own life as you pursue these grand themes we've talked about this whole semester. The grace of God revealed in Jesus Christ, salvation through faith alone in the merits of Jesus Christ, and the unity that we know together as brothers and sisters in the Lord, one body through the cross. This is my prayer for you. In Jesus' name, amen.